All right, gamers. We got another Destin 1 deck profile for you guys today. And today we're doing Alcalibra. So Alcalibra is a new card that got support in Destin Showdown. And today I'm gonna to show you guys my version of the deck. The deck is pretty aggressive, so it's a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been playing with. But before we get into that, quick shout out to our sponsor, 50 Cards. You guys already know 50 Cards. It's my favorite place to pick up Vanguard singles, pick up your play sets, pick up your sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, whatever you guys need for Card Fred Vanguard. 50 Cards will have it for you guys. And you can get an additional 5% off and use code Nexus. So thank you to everyone who's been using the code so far. It supports the channel a lot and it keeps me being able to do what I do for you guys and do all these deck profiles for you guys as well. So I really appreciate that. So thank you again to 50 Cards. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the Equilibra deck profile. Is it Equilibra or Alcalibra? All right, let's just do this. All right, Alcalibra deck profile. Let's get into it. Got our ride line. These are all brand new cards from Destin Showdown. So starting with the starter, we got some pretty sick art. We got Gawal, Gawilar Dragon. Uh, just look at that, like all those guns and stuff and the fire, it's sick. Uh, but yeah, if you went second, you draw a card, the grade one, Rakatenwerfer Dragon, that, that's a mouthful. When it's wrote upon by Gatling Kanoe Dragon, Kanoe? Can Kanone. Kanone? Kanone. Gatling Kanone Dragon. When this is wrote upon by Gatling Kanone Dragon, you can call this to rear and soul charge one. This is very similar to like the Rezael and Varga grade one. It also has the overcharge ability. Uh, when this unit is chosen by the ability of your grade three Vanguard with Alculebra, this gets 10K. So that's basically what overcharge is, is anytime Alculebra chooses that unit, for it's a card ability, it becomes overcharged. So, and then when it's in the overcharged state, it gets that 10K power or some other ability. The grade two, Gatling, Kanone, Canon Dragon. When it's wrote upon by a grade three with Alki Libra, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade three or less from among them, put into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. And if you revealed an overcharge card, you can soul charge one. So if the card has the overcharge ability in its text, you get that soul charge or you have to soul charge but you can just grab pretty much any card you want, which is also nice. Then the main guy, Destined Wand of Scales, Alki Libra. It has two abilities. The first one is Act, Soul Blast 2. Choose three of your rear guards and they get 5k power. If you choose two or more rear guards with the overcharge ability, you draw a card and this gets 10k. So basically by virtue of using that ability and choosing rear guards, those units that have the overcharge ability become overcharged. So on top of the fact that some of them get 10K, they get an additional five. And if you choose uh, two rear guards with the overcharge ability, you get to draw and get 10K. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of resource management with this deck and it gets a lot of power and uh, draw, which is nice. The divine skill, which is really cool, act once per game. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, counter blast one, choose two rear guards, they get 5K power. And if your opponent's damage zone has four or less cards, choose your opponent's vanguard and deal one damage. The increased power of trigger effects revealed for this damage check is decreased by 10K. So obviously you get an over trigger, it doesn't matter, but any other trigger, it gets minus 10K. So the power is nullified and that way your opponent isn't able to, you know, get extra defense off that damage, which is really cool. So on top of the fact that your units are already getting a ton of power, the fact that you can push your opponent to five damage on top, like just with all that power as well is crazy good. So that is it for the ride line going into the grade threes. It's just our three additional copies of Alki Libra. So we like Persona Ride, so we are just running the three extra copies. That is it for the normal unit grade threes. We're gonna jump into the grade twos. We got four copies of Drag Ritter Shell Hub, four copies of Drag Ritter Fall Heart, and two copies of Ford and Revertis. So let's just go ahead and go into the new card, which is Shell Hub. So what it does is during your turn, if you have three or more units with the overcharge ability, this gets 5K. And then the overcharge ability of this card is once per turn, auto when your Vanguard attacks a grade three gridded unit. If this unit was chosen by the ability of your Vanguard Alcalibra, you can E-Blast three, stand this unit, and it gets an additional 10K. So this is your multi-attacker here. So we're definitely gonna run four copies of this. Then we're running four copies of Drag Ritter Fall Heart, which is your energy cycler, as people have been calling them, but I call them Biscotti clones. So when this is placed on guard from hand or discarded from hand when riding from the ride deck, you can counter blast one or energy blast three to draw a card. So you ditch it for your ride line. 
It also has the ability when it's placed on rear, if you Persona Road this turn, you can E-Blast through your Kennel Blast 1 to choose a Grade 1 without Sentinel from drop and call it to the back row rear guard circle. So it does help you fill your board, but this deck does a really good job with keeping your board full, but you can use that effective unit. We're mostly using it for the guard effect and the energy cycling. And lastly, we are running two copies of Forward and Reviridus. This card is just really good because we do use Soul Blast 2 every single turn. So to keep up with the soul, Reviridus is on place from hand, Soul Charge 1, and it also gets 5k. And it also has the ability, you can Counter Blast 1 and do one of the following. You can either choose your opponent's Grade 2 or Greater Rear Guards and retire it, or you can choose a Grade 2 or less card from your soul and call it to rear. So this kind of helps with all the soul charging you're doing. You can maybe pick a really good overcharge unit or a really good grade one, call it to rear, fill your board, get it all set up before using Alkalibra's effect. So Reviridus is a really good card for that setup. But that's it for the grade twos. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the grade ones. For grade ones, we're running four copies of Drag Ritter Edel, Edel, then four copies of Shenry, three copies of Drag Ritter Fariza, two copies of Justina, and then I'll move these over a bit. Three copies of our Dragon Empire Perfect Guards. Do it kind of like this, get it out of the glare. So the new guy, or one of the new guys, Drag Raider Adil, Adil is when it's placed on rear. If you have two or more units with the overcharge ability, Cannon Blast 1, draw a card, Soul Charge 1. So this unit does have the, the overcharge ability itself, so it does count itself, just keep that in mind. Overcharge, if this unit was chosen by the ability of your Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard Alki Libra, this gets 10k, so it's just a big old beater booster. The Counter Blast for the draw and Soul Charge can be helpful, so it's nice to have that. Then we're running four copies of Shenry. Shenry is just a really, really good early game card, and it goes to the soul after it's done with its effect. But what it does is when it boosts, if your opponent has one or less rear guard or you played in order this turn, this gets 5k power. And at the end of the battle, you can put this soul and draw a card. So I really like having Shenry in the early game when your opponent typically has no rear guards because they're just on their grade one. Call this as a booster, boost with it real quick, move to soul, draw a card. You're already filling your soul and getting resources. So, and you know, you're adding that extra 13k boost to make it harder for them to guard. So it's nice. Uh, it's also really good in the later game when you play order cards and it still goes off if you have the space to have Shenry on your board. So can't go wrong, Shenry is just a really good card for this deck. Another new card, Drag Ritter Fariza. Overcharge when this unit boosts. If this unit was chosen by the ability of your Vanguard Equilibra, this gets 10k. And if you have not countercharged, you can countercharge one when you retire this unit. So it does help getting you back some counter blast, but we don't really need to worry too much about counter blast with this deck. So I'm just running it three copies for now. And obviously it's nice to keep your board if you know continuously losing units such as Shenry in this unit after retires. So that's why I dropped it down to three. Then we're running two copies of Dancing Princess of Elegant Flames, Justina. When it's placed on rear from hand, if you did not play an order this turn, you can discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to one order card without Regalis piece, and discard it. That order then gets the ability to be played from the drop zone, and then after it's done being played, instead of going back to the drop zone, it goes to the bottom of your deck. So it returns it back to the deck after you use it. So the reason we're running this is because we are running order cards in this deck, and we wanna make sure we have access to them. So this helps you pull the orders out of your deck to use them and get off their order ability. And obviously Shenry is gonna benefit from that too, because Shenry activates when you play an order. So there's some good synergy there as well. So we're only running two copies because it's just there to help you pull the orders out of your deck. And of course, our PGs, you know, our typical, uh, if you have one or less, you don't need to discard PGs. And our flavor of choice is Sparkle Rejector Dragon from the original uh, DBT06. That is it for the grade ones. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the trigger units. Triggers are super simple. It's just four burning flare, four more vanilla crit, three Parama fronts, four heal vanillas, and our OT is Drag Veda, cause Drag Veda is sick. So Drag Veda is like the obvious choice here just because being able to restand your Vanguard is really, really, really good. It's just an additional attack and you get more drive checks, so you can't go wrong with that. And having 100 mil on your Vanguard is pretty scary. But that is it for the triggers. Now we're gonna move on to our order cards. So for orders, we're running three copies of the new order card for the Alcalibra deck, which is to equilibrize the scales of the world. So what it does is you play it by paying Counter Blast 1 and you have a Vanguard Equilibra. You choose two grade three or less units with different card names with the overcharge ability from your drop zone and you call them to rear. So this is really good. Obviously, you're gonna have decks that are gonna target your board, bind your board, you know, card removal in general. So this card helps keep your board full 
And obviously if you wanna use intercepts, you can then use this to bring cards back from your drop zone. So I do like this card a lot to be able to keep your board full. And also it's really good in the early game or the grade three turn you ride. If you were discarding overcharge units from your ride deck for the paying the cost to ride those cards, you can pay this to bring them back, flood your board, give everything all that big old power and just swarm your opponent with huge number. So next for order cards, we're running one copy of Protection Twin Cast, which is our Regalis piece. So Protection Twin Cast is, you can use the ability of this twice. So it's one of those unique Regalis pieces where you can use it twice. The first ability is uh, choose one of your units being attacked and it gets 10K until the end of the battle. The second effect is when it's in the drop zone, if your unit is being attacked, you can remove this card from the drop zone, choose one of your units being attacked, and that unit gets 5K for each grade of that unit till the end of the battle. So basically I like protection twin cast because you cast, you cast it, give something 10K and then maybe later in the game when it's sitting in your drop zone, you get an extra 15K shield. It's just nice. And I feel like you don't really need Racing Angel Ladder because you have access to filling your board really easily. So might as well take advantage of the protection. And of course our last Blitz order is Elementary Sanctitude, just so that we can have our fourth and final Sentinel. And it's a Sentinel that acts in the order zone instead of the guard circle, so you can get around certain guard restricts, which is nice. Pretty standard for every standard deck. But that is it for the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. So this deck is honestly a lot of fun. It's kind of refreshing for a Dragon Empire deck that's kind of more focused on board building and power. Kind of essentially feels like almost like a Paladin deck in a way, except you're not calling from the deck, you're calling you know, from your soul and your drop zone. And you know, it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun to play with. And just all that power is just nice. The damage effect is also really cool. Very reminiscent of uh, Perdition Dragons for those who know. I do want to acknowledge the elephant in the room, which is Reviridus and Fallheart being like the expensive cards of this deck. And while I don't dislike these cards, I do think that, you know, there are ways to play this deck without Reviridus, but playing without Fallheart can be a little difficult, but you could you can get around not playing Fallheart. It's fine. I think you can use a lot of other good support grade twos, and there's also grade three cards that have overcharge abilities that compete with Fall Heart for energy, so you can use those as a substitute. But other than that, I would say like the rest of the deck, the main deck that we went over is pretty much like for sure the way you want to build the deck and play it. Um, Reviridus and Fall Heart, you could probably figure out some way to get around it and budget it. But if you do have these cards, ideally this is the way you want to play it. And I've been having fun with it so far. But if you guys have any recommendations of things to substitute for Fall Heart and Reviridus, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the that's the deck profile, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Another shout out to 50 Cards and thank you to everyone who's used Code Nexus to support the channel. It really helps us a lot and helps us be able to do giveaways and deck profiles. So thank you guys so much for your support. So be sure to check out 50 Cards and use Code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout for all of your Vanguard needs. And with that, my name is Richard and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.